Hello there and welcome to part two on this video about Joyce Weatherhead where I take a set of clubs fairly similar to what she would have played towards the end of her career and try them out on the course and see how I can score. Here are the lofts for the clubs. So without any further ado let's get to the course. Hello again and on the course now with the uh, Joyce Weatherhead inspired bag of clubs. I'm playing with uh, early steel shafted woods as per the set uh, that we saw in the Joyce Weatherhead Museum and hickory shafted irons and a uh, 1930s steel shafted putter. For hickory golf we would normally add I think for my handicap it's either five or six shots onto my 13 uh, course handicap. Let's have a quick look at the clubs. So here they are. I apologise for the very inauthentic bag. Uh, I was in a bit of a rush and didn't have time to sort out something a bit more uh, period looking. So there's the um, rather dodgy looking Gibson driver which I'm fingers crossed he's going to hold in one piece. Then we've got mostly stainless steel heads as per the Joyce Weatherhead set apart from this raw steel niblick and then we've got the Joyce Weatherhead putter which I've always found very difficult to use. The sweet spot is so far towards the heel that you really have to concentrate every time you use it to make sure you are hitting it at the sweet spot. Okay I'm going to start on the fourth hole here today and uh, Hopefully, I'll extend the, the, the match beyond four holes. Playing six holes, bogey format against the course par. Right, the moment of truth. Shaft feels, I don't know, probably, well, it's very thin at the end, so it's probably a lot of uh, flex down at the bottom. Let's just hope that the head stays together. We've had a lot of rain uh, a couple of weeks back and then two weeks of warm weather and grass has been growing at a phenomenal rate so it's really important to keep out the rough at the moment which is what I'm going to try and do. So a gentle swing, club head stays in one piece and the ball goes 185 yards into the left first court. A long way out, so I'm just trying to knock it down the fairway with the jigger. Got 237 yards to go. Just to prove I can shank a hickory club as well as a can of steel shafted. And that put me in the rough. This was my lie. But unfortunately I forgot to video the next shot with a niblick but it got me to here uh, what did I have left from here about 55 yards and I'm playing uh, the mashy niblick I thought that was going to hit the flag at one point but it rolled a little way by left me this one for my fifth shot which would be a half it goes by quite a way by it was a bit aggressive there and it was slightly downhill and that one lips out so I end up with a seven there one down I'm gonna hit the three wood this time less fear about the shaft going less fear about the club head I'm, I'm thinking really rather than the shaft I hit this one nicely into the breeze and it uh, stays on the hole and goes a 160 yards. Gives me a similar distance to the uh, green so I hit the same club again. A little bit thin but it rolls well, well down the fairway and leaves me this uh, little chip shot over the collar of the roof. And that's not a bad first chip. Leaves me this one for a par, which would be the whole one. And there we go, up and down. Next hole. Shot again, as on all the holes. I hit it well, if a little bit heavy. I think that's pretty good. 
Yeah, it's much better than I thought. So I've got two puts for the win. Camera behind the whole view. See what my action's like with the Joyce Weatherhead putter. And that's a definite pull. But I did have two shot, two puts for the win, so that's the win. That's the win, Mr. Birdie, but still a win. Another go with the one wood. A little bit more swing on it this time. Hope it doesn't blow up. Again, chance in the one wood. Short shaft on this one, 14 and a half inches. I catch this one nicely. It goes straight down the fairway. Unfortunately, shot tracer doesn't pick it up. It goes. Uh, let's see what it goes. Well, my drive's gone 216. I'd be pleased with that. With one of my more modern persimmons. I've got 103 to the front. I'm going to hit the mashing nibble. So after a great drive, as usual, I follow it up with a poor second. As we saw in the pictures, Joyce Weatherhead's uh, Wilson Sandine had quite a bit of bounce to it. And as we've already seen, this has got practically none. So it's a slightly different technique we need. I need to really cut underneath the ball and hope it pops out. Oh, it didn't used to have such high faces back in the day. But let's see how I get on. to swing under this pretty quickly and hope for the best. Bit of a quit there. Almost got out, but dropped a foot short. Have another go. A bit more committed. Runs on the down slope and rolls out very nicely, thank you. So this will be a five net par and halve the hole and that keeps me one up well, I'm keeping it out of the rough for the most part let's see if I can do another one with the Gibson one wood good shot again it was around 200 yards but unfortunately runs into the first bunker taking the mashy niblet here not trying for a lot of distance trouble and I'm now in a real spot of bother so mashy niblet again again not trying to be greedy with this one Give it a thumb. Just got past the third bunker. So I've now played three on this par five hole. I've still got 237 yards to go. I'm going to hit the jigger, just try and get it within range. That was a good strike. A little bit down the left. I've left myself 75 yards. I'm going to hit the nibblick, full nibblick. Well, I connected a bit too well with this one. It landed on the back of the green and hopped into the deep rough at the back. Well, there's my ball. I need to get this one in the hole. Not, very, not looking promising. All right, if I get this out, I'll be happy. Can see how lush the, the roof has grown. It's out. I didn't really follow through on that, but it did pop out. I've lost the hole, but I'll carry on for the score. As you can see, that last stab didn't quite reach the green, so I'm doing a little chip now. This is a, it's onto the green, but it's a bit weak. As with this put for, I'm not sure how many. Oh, 
think I'll need to use the playback uh, to see how many shots I've taken on that hole. Last hole then, and after that uh, slight loss, the match is all square, all to play for. Well, that's just what I needed, something in the fairway. Still looks okay. Well, wind assisted on that one and fairways are a little bit firmer than they have been. But it's gone 215 yards, so I've got 140 to the front. The front flag, I'm thinking if I can just get it down to the front of the green, take two from there with my shot, that'll give me the win. So I've got the number two mashing, 40 degrees. Looking back, I think I had too much club here and I didn't really commit to the shot. Very steery, I might have pulled that into the rough. Could be trouble. I think if I'd taken one less and just thumped it and allowed it to run down the slope into the collection area, I wouldn't have been in this uh, nasty light I found myself in making that real hash of a chip. Like a rocket. It just popped off the face that one. So on the green in four, needing this for a five net par to halve the match. Unfortunately not today, so another match lost and apologies to Joyce Weatherhead. How did the clubs play then? The Gibson driver held together surprisingly well and I hit some pretty good shots considering the short shaft length of only 40 and a half inches. The irons, I have played all of these before, they're, they're my hickory uh, play clubs so no real surprises there. And the choice weather it put her, I think I've finally got to grips with that one now. I know roughly where to address the ball with it. And uh, I, was, I put it pretty well, as you can see from the statistics there. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.